I always said if you have a clean makeup bag, you're probably not a good drag queen because you probably don't work that much. <laughs> so I think drag queens are literally, they're the ones that go to battle for the, for the community at large, at least to be more visible because how can you miss a drag queen, honey? You know what I mean? <laughs> We're literally, you can't miss us. My name is Athena Dion. She, her, in drag, he, him, if you're nasty. And I live in Miami, Florida. It started about 12 years ago, and I started working basically at the front door of a really popular nightclub in Fort Lauderdale. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. They were just looking for a drag queen to greet people at the front door. And I was like, sure, I could do that. I threw some makeup, well, my friend threw some makeup on me, put me in a dress, and then I just got the job. And then every weekend after that, I had to dress up, and the closet started growing and growing until it was eventually this explosion that we're sitting in right now. And it's been quite a journey. Cause you gotta shave, you gotta put your eyebrows down, you gotta do your makeup, you gotta put the body on. Girl, it takes about two hours to get in drag. There was a lot of times that I felt like I was completely different. And I think as I was growing up, I started to realize I was different and people were treating me a way that I didn't like to be treated. So I, th I had to kind of create another personality basically to save myself from criticism and being bullied or that negative attention that I was getting. I was like, okay, every time I act like this or I mimic my mom, I get made fun of. So don't ever do that. Athena Dion always says you gotta feel good to look good because when you feel good, you look good. It all starts from feeling good. It doesn't matter what you put on, it matters how you feel. To be honest, I didn't think I was, I never thought I would be a drag queen. I always knew that I was obsessed with it. Looking back, you know, in my childhood and the things that I was really interested in, like the movies that I was watching, like The Birdcage and things like that, they were all really polarizing for me. I just thought it was so magnificent to see these men that were able to put on these fabulous gowns and be on stage and perform. And I just thought, I, I think I had a very flamboyant spirit as a child and that kind of came through and manifested itself into what I do now. But I never thought in my wildest dreams that drag would be like my career as an adult. So my drag family is extremely important to me. As much as I've been there for a lot of the younger generation that I've been mentoring and whatnot, they've been there for me. And we provide that for each other, you know what I mean? I have their pictures everywhere here. You can see them everywhere doing drag together. It's really, it's a family system. Honestly, Athena is just somebody, she is like, the Chris Jenner of drag. She is just a businesswoman. Athena doesn't sleep, doesn't, doesn't, uh, it's just work, 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 work. She this morning and fought with the front desk. Oh, my God. She will get open. stuff done. And I'll tell you, do not mess with that lady because <laughs> she knows what she's doing. And I am so lucky to have her as a drag mother. Pride every year is very important. Um, visibility every year and forever and ever will always be important. You gotta be louder than ever, and that's what Pride is. I think Pride is here to educate people on what we're about, on what we've gone through, on what we've had to learn, on what we've had to struggle, and to show them that we're not a threat to anybody. We're literally here to spread more love. That's it. Let's get it. Please welcome to the stage an amazing talent. If you're one of those gays with a big bank account, you've seen her in Mykonos, give it up. For the one, the only, Miss Athena Dio! Drag to me, I would say it's it's just basically who I am at this point. I don't really see it as something separate that I do. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, I'm a lawyer or I'm an accountant. I go to the office and that's just another personality I have. I feel like I'm always in drag. I think we're all always in drag. I mean, that's what, that's what RuPaul says. You're born naked and the rest is drag. Drag was completely different from when I started till now. Things weren't as accessible as they are now. Them seeing us do what we do, gives them that confidence and that self-esteem to be the best person that they can be. People think that what we are doing is harmful to people and it's the total opposite. What we do is spread love, it's art, it's fun, um, it brings people together. 
I do this to bring joy to myself and I do this to bring joy to others. And there's never been a time where we've meant harm to anybody. We're just entertaining people. My drag stands for liberation, self-liberation, for being free to express yourself. I think it stands for being unapologetically you. My drag stands for never having to shy away from truly expressing who you are. That's it.